Right. So now we need 12 strands. Um, eight of them are going to be uh, 12 feet long on each side, but um, we actually want four that are 24 feet long. We're going to take the eight individual strands that would be 12 feet long and combine them into four 24 foot strands. So we'll measure those out. We got six, 12, 18. All right, so we've got five feet left over. Now I'm going to find the middle of each one of these strands. Here's our 18 footer. Just hang it around there. It's 18, this is our 14. One of our twenty fours. I'm going to hang these in a top of a different little spot so I can get them separated. All right, so here we go. These four strands are each 24 feet long. They're grouped in the middle, so that gives us, you know, if we were to surround the core of the width and start plaiting, we'd have two 12 foot sections. and a 14. So what we're going to do now is we've got the center of all of these. Okay, so we're going to take these six strands right here in the middle. I'm going to do a flat braid that will cover that keeper and will act as a second keeper. Probably want to do it about that much. Probably want to do about double the length to do a flat braid. So here's the center of those six strands and then we've got, I don't know, about three inches on one side, three inches on the other. Something like that. Okay, it's about six inches. So that whole section right there is going to be flat braided. So just put that in a vise and tighten it up. On the underside of each strand, just do a little marking of some sort so that you know 
when to stop your flat braid. Okay, now if you've never done a flat braid, it's relatively simple. These are the six strands we're going to be flat braiding. Put three on one side and three on the other now. Once you've done that separation, just make sure that you've got 14 and 18. So, see, I've got uh, yeah, we're good. All right, now so I what I was just saying, but I'm lost. Three strands on each side, the two in the middle, essentially crossed there. And you're going to do it just like you'd normally flat. Uh, find the lowest strand going over the other. This is the lowest strand, it's going over this one. And so that means you're going to pull from the side that's pointing at and that's pointing at this side. And you're just going to go over, under, over. I'm going to take the top strand on the other side. I'm going to go under, over. And you're going to go back to the first side, and the left side here, and you're just going to alternate, right? So you can see this strand here is going over that so it needs to, this strand needs to go under the next strand so it's going to go over under over under over so you're going to do three operations on one side and two on the other over under over under over And you don't want to pull too tight on this. You want your flat braid to have um, a relatively loose braiding to it. If you if you pull too tight on it, it's going to um, kink up and just look funky. You want it to stay looking flat. Again, when we're doing this is we're going on the left side you're going to go over one, under one, over one, and on the right side you're going to go under one, over one. Over, under, over, under, over, over, under, over, under, over, over, under, over, under, over. There's our dots, so we're getting kind of close. 
Now, if you walk away from this for some reason and you come back and you can't remember where you left off, the side that, if one side has four strands, that's the side you're going to braid. If both sides have three strands, you're going to braid the, the right side. All right, so right here we've got four strands here, so that's the side I'm going to braid. Okay. Over. Now, I've never seen anyone um, make a stock whip overlay this way. Almost every time I've seen a stock whip overlay, it's been with a yoke. Um, meaning, instead of this being a braided section of a flat braid, this would just be a solid section and there'd be six strands cut from it. Um, You'll see this a lot. I mean, this is really the only way to do it with a nylon stock whip because you can't cut strands, smaller strands from a larger nylon strand. Um, so I'm probably the only person that I know of that is um, showing people how to do it this way online. I'm sure there's craftsmen somewhere that do it this way. Um, and I'll likely get some flack from people or somebody telling me this is a junk way to do it, but hey, what's life without a little diversity, right? Embrace it. All right, so there are dots. We've plaited the whole um, amount that we need plaited, but let's just make sure that we've got enough. I'm just going to tie a slip knot in here just so I don't lose that. here so I don't use any of that braid. And let's make sure that we've got enough. Alright, so that's going to cover that portion of the keeper. And then we're going to have six strands coming off from it that we can plait with. All right, so I'm doing this quick mock-up here to make it easier for me to record exactly how you convert from the flat braid into the round braid. And um, you need to really pay attention at this step in the game as to where your short strands are placed when you convert from the flat to the round. So what I've done is I've made this mock-up just using scrap strands. The two whiskey represent our shorter strands and all of the black represent the long strands. Um, the shortest of the whiskey has just got one knot in it and the longer of the whiskey has two knots in it, and I've done that on both sides. So what we need to do is convert this into a round plait, and when we do that, we need to make sure that once it's converted into a round plait, we've got, um, we'll have six strands coming off of each side of the round plait, but four of those strands on each side need to be the 12 foot, and the remaining two need to be the long and short of the two strands we're gonna drop. If you don't pay attention here, you're gonna end up with, um, all of your short strands on one side, which makes it impossible to drop them and then you're going to have to unplat everything. So when you're going to convert from flat to round, you're going to hold, you've got three strands on each side up front, three strands on each side in the back. And you're going to pretend that these strands in the back have just been half platted. If they've been full platted, they'd be coming around like this, right? So if they've been completely non platted at all they would be these three here would be on this side faced with the grain facing you so keep that in mind now we're going to take the lowest strand that's going over the second lowest strand that's this one here it's pointing to the left side which means that's what we're going to pull from however if we were to pull from the left side um, we'd be pulling from strands that have been half platted 
So you're actually, when you're doing the six, the, um, when you do these 12 plats to convert to round, you're gonna be pulling from the same side as opposed to the opposite side. So this is on the right side, so you're gonna pull the top strand from the right side. Right? So we've got these three strands here. The top one is this black one, and we're gonna go under an imaginary three and over three. Now on the other side, we're gonna pull from the same side as well. So we're gonna get the top of these three. That's this one right here. And we're gonna go under an imaginary three, which is actually an imaginary two and go over this one. Cause now we have four strands on this side. We have to go over three and under the remainder. So we're gonna go under the remainder, which is one and over these three. Back to the other side. Pull from the same side, get the top one. That's this one here. We've got four strands, so we're gonna go over three. And before we do that, we're gonna go under the remainder, which is one. So we're gonna go under one, over three. Same thing on the other side. These are the two strands. The top one is this. We're gonna go over three, but before we go over three, we're gonna go under the remainder, which are these two. And we go back to this side here. We've got five strands. There's only one on this side. So we're gonna go under these three. Before that, we're gonna go over the remainder, which are these two. Curl it, bring it around front. And now on this side, we've got all of our six strands. They've all been brought around. So we're gonna go under the top three, grab the last one, which is back here, and bring it around front. Now we've got all 12 strands up front, and you'd notice we've got on the right side, or the left side, we've got um, our shortest strand and our second to shortest strand, and on the right side, we've got the same thing. So this is the way you wanna end up. If you've done this round plat and you find out that all of your short strands are on one side, let's say all of our whiskey were on the left side, then you'd have to just go back to the, to the flat braid and continue to braid one or two passes until you get all of your whiskey on the same side or all your short on the same side. Know what's going on? Okay, so I'm just going to do one series of plats here. So I'm going to do all 12 strands, and then put some platting soap on it and tighten up the keeper. So we've got some plaiting soap on here. Right now we've got a pretty decent 45 degree angle. So you can just push all that plaiting up a little bit. Sort of pack it up in there. And then pull back. Like 
the plaiting soap. Get in there and do its job. Now you just flat like normal. Under three over three. I'm just going to plat down to my first drop and then I'll resume.